Welcome back to part 3, let us continue with the door, adding a wood texture to it. So, from add, go to texture section, select image texture, press open and choose your wood map. I am going to provide you with number of wood texture so you can experiment with it. Now, as always, after adding texture to an object, you need to add UV map to it. So, go to the UV editor, select the door while in the edit mode, press U, and choose smart UV project. We might need to rotate it 90 degree, so select the door in the UV editor, press S if you want to scale the texture, pressing R will rotate it, you can press R then the angel you want, in this case 90 degree looks nice. I am gonna change the texture with darker wood, as I say you do not have to stick with the same wood I use. So now, the door frame need a UV map also, select it in the edit mode, press U and choose cube projection. Rotate it in the UV editor to by 90 degree, After that, to the ceiling, we are going to add some light spots, so, the methods of importing objects to a blender file are various, I am going to open a new blender file with the object I want to import, and just, copy paste it to my file, now as you see, just select the spot, copy it, go back to your file. Hide the upper ceiling for better view. Make a new collection, and control paste it. Adjust the scale, then place it, so, the spot should be half a meter far from the wall, 0.8 meter far from corners. After that been said, just select the spot, put it in a corner, press G then an axis to move it along it, then press the distance you want it to be moved for. Now move it along the z-axis, remember to press shift for slower and accurate movement. The class of the spot has two materials, delete one as shown. To cut the spot place in the ceiling, we need a boolean modifier, and for that, let us add a cube, you can first place the cursor on the spot. Scale the cube to fit the spot edges. Move it until it collide with the spot.
After that, select the ceiling, go to modifiers, add a boolean modifier, in the object section select the cube as shown. Hide the cube and spot to see if the work has problem, ok, now before copying the spot, we need to fix it first, so we do not end up editing all of them. Press Z and select render view, select the spot glass and press H to hide it, the spot has too many materials that we do not need, delete them all, well not all, leave one. Now under this pulp, the work might look silly, because you probably not gonna render it, but I am going to add light material to it, so delete all materials as shown. Add new material from the plus button, make it an emission, play with the color, and up the strength to something around 2000. Now to copy it, make sure to select the spot and the boolean cube. After that, from the top view, press shift D to make a copy from selection, then press the axis you want to move it on, I moved it 1 meter on the Y axis, pressing shift R will repeat this process, after finishing one side, copy it to the other one. Hide the upper ceiling for better view, so we copy the cube with the spots, but we need a boolean for them now. So, select the cubes, make sure they are selected alone. Then press Ctrl J. This will join all cubes together, and apply the boolean modifier to them. Press Alt H to unhide stuff you hide, we are going to add light to them but for now, let us leave them like that. Now to the windows, select the window and go to materials panel, you see that it have 5 maybe 6 materials, and we already fixed the glass, so, delete the materials as shown, leave only the outside and glass materials, from top right corner press and drag to open a new window as before, make it a shading edit type, hit use node if it is not check. Now add an image texture. Open it and select the wood bitmap. The window has UV maps so we do not need to add them. You can also add a glossy shader and mix it with the BSDF, as shown. Press Shift A, add those two node, connect them, make the mix shader factor 
button, after that, to the handle. Delete one of the materials assigned to it as shown, select the remain material and delete the BSDF, add a glossy shader, a dark grey color and a roughness of 0.6 works for me. So, experiment with it. Also, from modifiers, you can add a subdivision modifier and apply it to make the handle smooth. Now, to the second part of the window which is the frame including the bottom part. Delete the materials as shown, press tab to enter edit mode. Select the front face of the bottom part, pressing CTRL plus will grow the selection, after that, make a new material and assign the selection to it. We need it to be marble. So as before, add an image texture, open it and select your marble map. You can also add a glossy shader, or simply copy it from the windows material. Enter the UV editor and scale it up. You can scale on one axis by hitting S than the axis you want. Now before wrapping this part, Select the edges to chamfer them. Press Ctrl B, drag and with the mouse wheeler add smoothness to it, and if you messed an edge chamfer them also. After you finished, select the other window, hold shift and select your previous window, press ctrl L and choose object data, this will copy the geometry, and that's it for this part, stay tuned for the next one.